67 days. My name is Andrew Eugles and I'm about to go out to the Australian Outback to survive out there for a total of 100 days. You know, I guess some people might have thought that it was somewhat a spontaneous decision to go out there and survive for a hundred days in the Australian Outback. But, you know, it, w it wasn't anything but spontaneous. There was a lot of research that had to come into play, you know, understanding what food material and what plant material was out there. And, you know, not just that, understanding the population density of feral animals and whether I could actually survive out there in this location for a hundred days. That took a lot of research. There we have you came out of here. 67 days was a was not not just a personal endeavor, it wasn't a, a personal endeavor of, of survival. It was more than that, it was about spreading a message, a message out there to the people, the public. I went pretty good with the rabbits. I'm gonna show you the rabbits down here, that's what I prepared earlier. And we've got four in this uh, mesh net. Feral goats in Australia are a consistent, consistent problem. Part of what I was trying to achieve out there was about showing the Australian public, showing them we have a problem, we have an issue, and I'm going to go out there, I'm going to document it, I'm going to show you that a 21 year old Australian with limited resources can go out there into the Australian outback and can survive. Now, this could mean one of two things. One, either I'm very good at what I do, or two, that the extent of the problem is so bad that an average kid can go out there and survive. Personally, it was number two. An average kid can go out there and survive off Australia's problem, feral animals. You know what? Surprisingly good. There's a lot of people out there saying, you know, I know the fox is up. It's an opportunity to lead anything, to lead anything dead to you garbage bins or whatever, but honestly, it tastes pretty good. I guess in, in a survival situation, your, your thinking becomes quite instinctive and quite strategic, and you're achieving multiple objectives per day, and I guess that's the way to survive a, a situation like that, is you need to have multiple objectives per day. You know, ones that which are which are achievable, and ones in which you know that from the end of achieving those objectives, that it's going to help you in being able to prolong your survival over the course of the event, whether it be 10 days, or it be 20 days, or whether it be 100 days. When you're in a survival situation, it's reality. So reality, uh, reality has no option. It has no option.